ULWT.com. And what a great day and night to be at the ballpark, even yep. maybe even a great weekend, Kevin. Oh, yeah, great weekend to have a home series underway because the weather looks really nice if you're going to any of the games around the tri state. In fact, if you're heading down this evening, enjoy. I mean, this is some perfect outdoor early summer weather out there. We're in the mid to upper 70s right now. It will really feel good. You know, in that twilight hour, they're kind of somewhere between about, you know, somewhere six to eight, six to nine, just as the sun is really going down. It's going to feel fantastic in the evening and then post game fireworks. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s. All right, beautiful day across the Ohio Valley. Just a few passing fair weather cumulus clouds. Now some signs of potential change. And the weekend is this this high cloud cover starting to spill out of uh, Iowa into Illinois tonight. This will be part of thunderstorms that will generally stay well to our west throughout the duration of the weekend. However, I do think we'll see an increase in some clouds and maybe for someone, someone can manage out a stray shower or two, but I don't have a lot of wet weather in the weekend forecasts more clouds than we have now, but not a lot of wet weather. So temperatures out there are pretty nice. Again, most of us just short of 80 in most neighborhoods, 79, 78 degrees, 80 in cold rain. Westchester's at 80, 78 in Mason. You're in the upper 70s across the river in northern Kentucky from Alexandria on over towards Independence. So enjoy this fantastic Friday evening that we have now underway. As I think you'll enjoy the majority of the weekend, we keep very comfortable temperatures. We keep the humidity low. It's mainly dry out there and yeah, not hard to beat overall this time of the year. So here's a look at dew points. Part of the key to the weekend forecast and the reason why I'm more optimistic about drier than versus more wet weather is because I mean, look at the dew points. The air is very dry and it's going to take a while you know, to recover sufficient humidity. So with dew points in the 40s, we've got to get those winds to switch back around to the south, and that really won't happen much over the weekend. So any fronts passing through will be starved to produce any rainfall. So here's future cast. Again, quiet tonight. Saturday morning, you wake up, no problems. We will see a general increase in cloud cover, so maybe a little less sun as it fades throughout the day. And as you can see here, there will be the chance for maybe a sprinkle or two. I think the best opportunity for rain, though, actually comes overnight. Saturday and before the sun comes up on Sunday when we could have the right alignment of that cool front and just enough moisture to possibly squeeze out a few stray showers across the area. But given the timing, I think this has even less of an impact because by the time you're up Sunday, you're into beautiful weather and this is reinforcing Canadian air for early next week. So we're at 79. Look at the humidity, only 35 percent. Here's your evening forecast looking pretty good. It will get cool late tonight. I think we get down into the mid to upper 50s in most neighborhoods, so pretty comfortable out there. Tomorrow, 77 as clouds roll in here. Still nice, even with that small shower chance in there. You see how we kind of cloud up mid afternoon more, maybe more clouds than sun, but still a nice Saturday seven day forecast. All right. Chance for a stray shower early on Sunday. Otherwise, look at this going into early next week. Look at these overnight lows. This is very refreshing. We're talking 50s for lows, at least through the first half of next week. And then highs only between 75 and 80. That's hard to beat mid-June weather, Mike and Ashley. All righty, Captain.